Oh, Mrs. Jones. This is George Grist speaking. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. The reason why I called is to ask if I can come and show you our new swimwear catalog. I'd like that. Say, I'm free after lunch. So, how about this afternoon, say 1 o'clock? I'm afraid I can't, Mr. Grist. I'll be in a meeting all afternoon. I wish I could get out of it, but. I understand. Is Thursday at 3 o'clock okay? Are you free then? Hmm. I think I am, but let me check. Ah, yes, 3 o'clock is fine. Great. I'll see you then, Ms. Jones. Thank you, Mr. Grist. Bye. Excuse me, ma'am? Yes, sir. How can I help you? I'm a guest here, I'm in room 514. I have some free time this afternoon, so I want to go see a park, a landmark, something. What would you suggest? Ah, uh, Wrigley Field on a sunny day like today is nice. Wrigley Field? Don't the Cubs play baseball there? That's right. In fact, they have a game there at 4 o'clock. Do you want to see a building with history? I think Wrigley Field is the Chicago landmark to see. Great, how do I get there? Go north one block and take the L. The L? Oh, that's short for elevated train. Nothing gets you in or out of Wrigley faster. Well, the game starts in one hour, so I'd better go now. Thanks for your help. No problem, have a good time. Ah, what did it say I should do next? Excuse me. Do you need some help? Well, yeah. I guess so. I'm trying to get to the university, but I'm afraid I can't make heads or tails of this ticket machine. Just push the green button that says University and put in $2.75. Okay. Like this? Yes, that's right. The train you want will leave from Platform 2 at 9.15, which is half an hour from now. Thank you. Oh, and could you tell me how often the trains come? They come every 50 minutes in the evening. Okay. And do you know what station I should get off at? You want University Avenue, that's five stops from here. Okay, I think I got it. Thanks again. Sure. Good luck. Hi Anna. I'd like to buy a ticket to Chicago, please. What time do you want to leave, Mr. Robinson? Well, tomorrow morning, as early as I can. I've got to see our client and appear in court before noon. There's a bust every 30 minutes starting at 5.30 a.m. Then, I'd like to leave at that time. Wait, my wife's going to drop me off here on her way to work. Could you give me a 6.30 ticket instead? Sure. Will that be one way or round trip? Oh, I probably should buy a round trip ticket now because I'll be coming back tomorrow evening. Do you know what time tomorrow? Ah, do you have a bus that comes around 9 o'clock? Yes, there's one at 9 o'clock. Okay, I'll take that. I told my wife that we'd go see a movie at 9.30. Hello. Hi there Sylvia. This is Tyler. Oh, Tyler. Where have you been? I called you a few times. I even stopped by your place, but you weren't there. Sorry, I didn't tell you. We go to Indian Lake on every 4th of July. It's kind of a family tradition. Indian Lake? Where's that? 
Ah, uh, it's about an hour and a half from Chicago. My parents have a cabin here. So, it's just you and your folks there? Yeah, but they have to go back home tomorrow night. Say, would you like to come out? I'd love to, but I can only stay for the weekend. I have a test Monday afternoon. I can get you back in time if we leave early Monday morning. You know how the driver is Monday morning. You don't have to drive me anywhere, Tyler. My friend just sold me a car, that's what I wanted to tell you. Now, how do I get to Indian Lake? Frontier Airlines. How may I help you? I'd like to make a reservation for the 2nd of May. Yes, sir. Could you give me the city you're living from and your destination, please? I'll be departing from Houston, Texas, and flying to Chicago, Illinois. And when do you want to return? Ah, uh, I want to come back on the 5th. Oh, and ma'am, I'd like the cheapest flight you have. Yes, sir. Well, if you leave at 6 a.m. from Houston on May 5th, the price for the flight is $150. And what about from Chicago on the 5th? That's also $150 if you leave at 6 a.m. Great, let's do that. And would you have any information about places to stay? I'm going to an attorney's convention in the Michigan Avenue area. Yes, sir. But first, may I have your name? I'd like to reserve two tickets for the matinee on Saturday, the 10th. For which movie, ma'am? Oh, that's right, you have a theater there. Um, for dark and stormy night, please. I'm sorry, that shows are sold out. Well, how about the matinee on the 11th? Yes, ma'am, we do have tickets for that show. Are there any seats left in the middle? Yes, but they're not next to each other. If you want them together, we still have seats in the front and at the back. The front row sounds good. How much are the tickets? $13 total. Okay. Can I use my credit card to pay for the tickets? Sure. Could you give me your name, the name of your card, the card number, and the expiration date, please? Ah, uh, just a second. I have to get my credit card out. Skylights Hotel Reservations. I want to reserve a room, please. Certainly, madam. When would you like to stay? Next Thursday night, that's the 15th. And what type of room would you like? Single or double? Um, there were two of us going, but now it's only me, so, just a single room, please. If you give me just a moment, please. Yes, we do have a single room available on the 15th. The room rates are $90. Wow, boy, that's a bit more than I expected to pay. Well, you can try calling other hotels, but you'll find this is pretty standard. Uh, okay. I don't have the time to call around and I know you'll probably write. Great. Let me go ahead then and reserve a room for you. Can you tell me your name, please? It's Mrs. Horner, Peggy Horner. That's with 2 gigaseconds. 911. Help, I need some help. Yes, sir. Can you tell me what is happening? I'm at the university and a student of mine is, is going into labor right at this very moment. Yes, sir. Can you tell me exactly where you are? On the, on the. I'm sorry, I'm a nervous wreck right now. We're on the second floor of Cutler Hall, room 211. I understand, sir. May I have your name and the student's name? Her name is Anita Rivera. 
And my name's Lawrence Clark. I'm a professor here at the university. Okay, who is there with you? Um, Anita and two other students. They're watching her while I call. What do you think? Should we drive her to the hospital? No, an ambulance is already on its way. It should be there very soon. Ah, what should we do while we wait for it to come? Just keep her calm and warm. Okay, we'll do that. Thank you. Jiffy Pizza, can I take your order? Yes, I'd like a large pizza. What kind of toppings would you like on that? Ah,、uh, I don't know. What toppings can I order? Well, we've got pepperoni, sausage, bacon, ham, pineapple, mushrooms, olives, tomatoes, and green peppers. Hmm. I'll have such a mushroom. No. Wait. Let me change that. I'd like ham and pineapple on it. Okay. Would you like a drink with that? Yes. What do you have? We've got one liter bottles of apple juice, orange soda, grape soda, and cola. I'd like the orange soda, please. Okay. That comes to thirteen ninety five. May I have your name, address, and phone number? Ah,、uh, my name is John Smith. I'm at five hundred thirty three Rosewood Avenue, and you can reach me at eight seven six two three four five. Okay, that's John Smith at five hundred thirty three Rosewood Avenue eight seven six two three four five. Yes, that's right. Okay, we'll be there at five fifteen. In half an hour. Great, thanks. Doctor Silver's office. Oh, I thought you opened at ten o'clock a.m., but my wife said to try earlier. She was right. I was going to call you at lunch. Yes, people are always surprised that we are here so early. How can I help you, sir? I'd like to make an appointment to have a checkup, please. Okay. Could I have your name, please? Yes. My name is Ian Conley. Mr. Conley, how about the day after tomorrow at nine thirty? Um, would you have anything in the afternoon? I have a meeting Thursday morning. Okay. Hmm. We do have an opening that afternoon at four o'clock. Would that be good for you? Yes, that would be just fine. Okay, Mr. Conley. While I have you on the line, could I just check a few things? Sure. Is your address still two thousand three hundred fifty-four Locklear Street, apartment eleven? Actually, ma'am, it's number seventeen. Okay, I'll change that dot, and your phone number is it two three three four zero two seven? Yes, it is. Thank you, Mr. Coley. All right, I have you down for four o'clock on Thursday afternoon. Thanks. See you then. Bye. Ah, this phone booth is so dark. I don't know if I dialed the number right. This is the international operator. How may I help you? Oh, great! Yes, sir. I'd like to make a collect call to Seoul, Korea, please. What's the number you want to call? The area code is two, and the phone number there is three 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 nine three seven three. May I have your name, please? My name is Sylvia. I'm sorry. Could you spell that for me, please? Please. Sure, it's S like in Sally or Sherry. Y L V L A. You sell your Sherry Y L V A. And who would you like to talk to?
Anyone who answers, it doesn't matter. It'll be either my mom or my dad. Okay. Please hold on, I'll connect you. All right, go ahead, ma'am, your party is on the line. Thank you so much. Great Lakes Fish and Lobster. How may I help you? Yes, when I had lunch there yesterday, I saw that you accept reservations. Yes, we do. Well, then I'd like to reserve a table for 6 o'clock tonight if that's possible. Certainly, may I have your name, sir? My name is Tyler. And let me confirm the time you said you want a table at 6 p.m., is that correct? Yes, it is. How large is your party, sir? Ah, including myself, there will be 10 of us all together. And do you have a preference, sir? Ha, huh, excuse me. Is there any place you would prefer to sit? We do have a smoking section out on the terrace. Oh, I see. Would it be possible to reserve a table next to the window? You have a good view of the city. Yes, we can arrange that. Thank you very much. No problem. We'll see you at 6. Hank Kern's office, Sally speaking. Thank you for watching.